I'll take you for a little walk down through part of the island here. Going down by the solar, but a little bit different route than I normally take. I ain't going down the stairs and all that stuff. So he got up this morning, made coffee, and filled up the sun shower. That's what we're going to look at. See what the temperature's up to on the sun shower. I've got to have one later tonight. I'm, I'm one stinking dude again. So, cut through the woods. Be sure to watch. I don't step on no snakes or nothing freaking crazy. Oh, I think I missed my spot. I might have to go back. Well, this is not what I remember as being an easier spot, but that's okay. Came out a lot closer to the uh, solar panel and stuff though. Let's go over here and check out the sun shower. See what the water temperature's up to. And then, uh, guess I'll just let you guys go and uh, get ready to go hunt some firewood and get ready for later tonight. Okay, here's the sun shower. What you do is you take him, just fill him up in the, bring it up here, lay it on the rocks. Be careful, don't lay it on the shale because you slice it open like I did a few years ago when I come to Del Hollow. But let's see, we are up to, about 104 degrees Celsius, or uh, Fahrenheit, I mean, on the water temperature. Yeah, it's warming up pretty nice. Make for a good shower later tonight. And, uh, turn you around this way. I guess that'll do it. And, uh, I'm gonna head back up to the island. Or not the island, but up to the camp spot and uh, get ready to go do some firewood hunting. Knock that out of the way. Get some firewood drug down to camp so we can saw it up later tonight. And uh, then it's fishing time, people. Fishing time. So, I guess I'm going to uh, turn you back around real slow here towards the lake. And uh, I will catch everyone later. Hope everyone's having a great day. All right, everyone, brought y'all along for a walk in the woods. Hopefully I can get this uh, sent to my phone so I can post it on the, the Facebook Alzheimer's uh, Adventure for a Cure page. But we're up in the woods down there is the lake. Like I say, just taking a stroll, looking for some firewood. It's where we come yesterday and drug a bunch back down there to camp and then kind of sawed it up later in the night when it was time to burn it. Almost up to about the top of this first little hill here. And uh, if you wanted to go well, go all the way up, you'd have to go way up there. I don't think Rob be doing that today unless I have to. Joe went back down to uh, find him a snake stick. And uh, about it right now just carrying you along this is where we come to yesterday I think yep right there's a uh, hole from there's a large standing deadfall right there and we just kept pushing on it till it fell over and then we drug it down to camp you don't know whether you can see it or not because this GoPro Hero 7 does not have a zoom, but way down there is where the uh, canoe is at. Uh, I can see Joe down there coming up through the woods. And uh, hopefully find us some good firewood. I just saw a piece a minute ago. I was showing you guys where uh, that standing deadfall was at. But, uh, Guess that'll be it for right now. And uh, I'm gonna check back with you here after a while.
turn you around up in the woods doing some firewood hunting try it all right everybody hope you all you're having a great afternoon and i'll catch you after a while all right guess we could call this part two ain't a whole lot of difference except a lot higher up from the lake if people can see it way down there oh uh, still collecting firewood we have found pretty decent supply already joe just got back with some bark for starting Looks fires like with wow out. pretty cool pretty cool fire starter all right turn you around this way way down there is the lake but uh try to keep this short and uh I'm going to head on up the mountain a little ways, or foothill, whatever you want to call it, and look around a little bit more. So uh, I'm going to check back in here in a little while. Catch y'all later. Oh, there goes Joe, by the way. Walking on up the mountain a little bit. All right, this is the end of the whole firewood thing, I reckon, but... Got us some firewood for the night. Went up there and uh, climbed almost all the way to the top of the island. Pretty long walk up the, up the hill there. Way up to the top. And I uh, guess that'd be about it. And we're back from firewood hunting. Well, I'm back. Joe's still up there in the, in the mountain, but when he gets back, it's going to be time to go do some fishing. Whoa! Big old bee just landed right on my arm. Not cool. Rob does not need to be stung by no bees out here on the island. That is for sure. Man, I was thinking about wings again the other night. You know? Like, oh, could use some wings, you know? See if I can do something with this uh, tripod. That's a little bit better. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Anyhow, time to have a vape. Sit here and cool down for a little bit and uh, go fishing. Try to do some bluegill fishing. Not try to, I'm going to do some bluegill fishing. Try to catch some bluegill. Saw a big old footprint up in the woods, and a lot of people's gonna, gonna be like, Yeah, big old footprint. Yeah, well, it's a big old footprint. About four times the size of my foot with toes. There's kind of like a little place where there was no leaves, and uh, you could see the, the footprint. You could also see some stuff coming down the mountain where something came down, looked like to me, sideways kind of like what a human would do. So humans don't have feet that big. I mean, you're talking probably this long, probably about that wide. We're starting down and going up and big footprint. Joe went on up there further to even look and see if he saw anything else. And he said he's seen some other stuff that kind of looked like footprints too, so, or feet print, so either way. But this is really supposed to be about the firewood. We've got that accomplished and some fishing is coming. Uh, guess that'll be about all. And uh, I'll saw up some of that wood after get done fishing. And then shower time. I guess that's it. So we'll catch everyone after a while. And as I always say, I hope everyone's having a great day. And uh, see y'all later. What's going on? Uh, day six on the island. Day six. Uh, I think it's firewood collected. Pretty good amount. 
obviously they'll have a good fire for the whole time we want tonight and uh, we'll go down and do some fishing here very shortly. I can still hear Joe up there in the mountain you know, chopping some piece of deadfall one or another that he's found up there and uh, discovered I'm flat chewed up by mosquitoes or something. I guess after the shower tonight, I'm gonna try using the rappel this time. We'll see how that works. And uh, try to start using it every night. If, yes, I can't get chewed up no more, not like this. And uh, I guess that'll about do it. And uh, come back here after a while. I think Facebook would allow a 45 minute video, but it would flat out take forever that long of video. So go down here and do some fishing. Might uh I'll try to shoot a 30 minute video. We'll see how long that takes to load. <laughs> Not too promising from way out here on this island. Yeah. Service is definitely sketchy. So like right now where the phone's at, I reach up here like this, right over here to the right, sitting on top of a hard case on a little bitty flexible tripod. Now, if you move that phone from that spot by an inch even, service is gone. It may take you an hour and a half to get it back. I don't know. And sometimes over here, over this way a little bit, you can set it on the table, and sometimes you get service for real good, you know, two for a little while, and then once again, same thing. But over there, it just dis disappears even if you don't move the phone. So. All right, yeah. About a two minute something video it looks like. It's just Rob Yabern, so mostly what it's been. So hoping to do the fishing thing in three parts. I like to get a little bit of video while I'm fishing. I like to get a little bit of video filleting some bluegills. And then do a little bit of video of an actual bluegill fry over the over the campfire. That should be pretty cool. Uh, I guess that's all. Hope everyone's having a good day and what else do I got to do, you know, out here on the island. All right.